cortito así. Uy, qué lindo, ¿eh? Son endemic species, Drogastor rugosus. Hmm. The rugose drain frog. It's very hard to see or find individuals this big. Normally you find small ones, okay? So females can grow like that size. Yeah. But it's really, I have seen only one. Huh. It's really difficult to find those, you know? And this one, uh, this one looks like a, like a male, actually. In this, in the, in this species, the uh, rain frogs, it's easier to tell apart a male from a female than in other species of, or in other families of frogs because the diameter of the eardrum, mm -hmm. it's about the same diameter of the eye. If it's about the same size, it's a male. If it is smaller than the diameter of the eye, it's a female. When I was a kid, I loved frogs since I was a kid, right? And I was living uh, with my family on the Caribbean side of Costa Rica. So we're from Osa, but my father moved to the Caribbean side to work in the uh, banana plantations there. And then after like five years, we moved back to, to Sierpe. And uh, I started working as a, a first mate, you know, captain assistant in the boats there. And I got more like in, we can say in contact with the tourists and then I was like, oh yeah, I want to do this. This is really cool. So I love nature. I love rocks. I want to be in nature. And if I become a tour guide, I can be in the forest and do what I love and also make a living, you know? Yeah. So we, we, I can say that I, 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 I born with it. I, I born loving frogs and, you know, Definitely. amphibians and now animals in general, because I, I love everything. So we have so many species of um, um, amphibians in general in Costa Rica and uh, frogs or anura that's how the, the, the order is called we have 155 species so far in Costa Rica because we add new species almost every year okay um, and they are all have we all these family have like different adaptations to survive in their different habitats because we can find frogs in the rainforest like in Osa we can find frogs in the, in the dry forest in Guanacaste you know some of like the burrowing uh, uh, frogs or the toads you know the, uh, that they go underground when it's too dry and frogs are very important because they are part of the of the trophic cascade you can say you know so they are predators and they are prey so a lot of animals feed on frogs like snakes uh, birds you know and if the frog population declines all these organisms are going to have a, ha a hard time too like the snakes for example okay so if frogs decline maybe some species of the snakes that are specialists on frogs are going to decline too and uh, also when they are tadpoles they are very important in the in the rivers or in the ponds that they live there's some many species feed on algae so they control the algae growth in the pond other species feed on on mosquitoes like even mosquitoes that transmit like mosquito larva sorry mosquito larva that eventually being the metamorphosis into a, a mosquito that will transmit like say dengue fever you know that's why they're also important for for our own well-being right so they're very very important in general for the ecosystem yeah i think those are the like the main thing on frogs they are like indi bio indicators too they tell us when the forest it's healthy and when it's not when we start seeing the frogs disappearing something is not good something is bad something bad is happening there and could be something really really bad actually my favorite animals are frogs you yeah. know frogs are my favorite those are like yeah those are my favorite i love frogs but uh you know always these groups have been studied together you know that and they are referred to as a herpetofauna, you know, frogs and uh, snakes and lizards. And I think the viper family is some of the most like amazing snakes we have in, in Costa Rica. Mm. Yeah. And I, I love those. I love bushmasters. And I have people that never been close to snakes, you know, and they always like scared. They have like a phobia about snakes. And now I have people with me that go in the hikes that are friends of mine and they are taking pictures of the snakes now. So mm -hmm. I completely change their minds. And I have friends that have changed the minds of their parents, for example. But uh, I think 
photography it's it's a really really important thing in co conservation if you know how to do it it can help a lot because people that see a snake from afar and they will go and kill it right away but when you show that same person a, a photo of a viper a very nice macro where you can see the details and they will be wow that's super cool i didn't know the snake looks like that because to see a snake up close in a picture and see it from some meters away is different you know more if the snake is moving fast you won't see the details but once you see that up close and you can show that to the people in a picture i think they will start to you know to like the animals actually i wanted to study a study biology i wanted to be an herpetologist but well i had to work and you know i had another things you know that <laughs> happened in my life so i couldn't but there's a lot of things that we don't know in the rainforest so new things are discovered there's new things that the, there are new things that are found here and there's a lot of things that we don't know and more when it comes to the um, ecology or also the natural natural history of some species that are very difficult to observe you know so I think if I see something that I have I have never seen before in a place like this with the species that I'm I see here and I know that not many people see I always do my research and try to see if that was already uh, published or not if it's something new for science that nobody have like done it I start writing I start writing a little like uh, scientific note and I post it you know and I publish it the Gulf of Dulce poison frog is the Philobates vitatus so Philobates philo is leaf bates to walk Bitatus stripe comes from stripe, so we can say it's a uh, stripe walking leaf, <laughs> something like that. It's an endangered species because uh, pet trade. You know, people like steal them from the forest, from their natural habitats, and yeah. sell them. You know, for you know, for pet. That's a beautiful frog that we need to protect. The Philobates bitatus is the symbol of Osa. It's the endemic species we have in Osa. We need to protect. How we protect that frog? we protect the rainforest and we protect the rainforest we protect the, the Golfo Dulce and we protect many other species